College Football Week 4 is here, and this promises to be the best yet. We've got seven ranked matchups this weekend, and as if you needed any more juice in these matchups, I've got your five best player prop picks that are available on Underdog Fantasy, Prize Picks, Sleeper, and Chalkboard. If you don't have those apps, download them, use the promo code LINESTAR. When you do, you'll get up to $100 of your first deposit matched. Last week, we were four of six on our college football picks, so let's carry the momentum into this week. And if you haven't already, do me a huge favor, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and comment below. Let me know where you're headed in the prop market for college football this week and what games you're looking forward to. We got a lot of good ones here on the slate. We're going to start things off in the SEC and a wide receiver who has been so impressive to watch this season, especially last week when I was watching him against my Georgia Bulldogs, and that is South Carolina Gamecocks wide receiver Xavier Leggett. We're going over 80 and a half receiving yards. Leggett's hit this Two of the three games so far this season, he's averaging 122 receiving yards per game this season. He is second in the SEC in receiving yards behind only LSU wide receiver Malik Neighbors, who just put up 234 receiving yards against Mississippi State. Yes, the same Mississippi State team Leggett's going up against this weekend, a team that's given up over 300 yards the last two games, taking Leggett over 80 and a half receiving yards. From the SEC to the Big Ten, I'm going to the Michigan Rutgers game. This is the return of Jim Harbaugh, who sat out the first three games with a suspension. Now he is back. The Wolverines are going to be hyped for this one, including their senior running back, Blake Corum. I'm taking the over on his rushing yards right now. That line sits at 83 and a half. Corum's only averaging about 85 rushing yards per game this season, and his numbers haven't exactly been eye-popping to start the season. However, that's just because the Wolverines haven't really unleashed him yet. He is fully capable of of hitting triple digits, which the Line Star app expects him to do this week. With Harbaugh returning, got a little extra juice in this one. And when you're looking at Corum, he's got the vision, he's got the wiggle, and he's got the ability to rip off a 54-yard rush in one play and get us over halfway to the over in this one. I like Corum, over 83 and a half rushing yards. Elsewhere in the Big Ten, we've got Penn State going up against Iowa, and I am eyeing the Penn State rushing game in this one, specifically Katron Allen, but Katron Allen and Nick Singleton make up one of the best, most dynamic rushing duos in the country. I'm taking Allen over 54 and a half rushing yards in this one, a number that he has hit two of the three games this season, averaging 69 rushing yards per game in that span. And in fact, Line Star is projecting him to have at least 65 rush yards in this game. Yes, Iowa's a good defense, but they have allowed the opposing lead rusher to have at least 59 rush yards in two of three games this season and when you're looking at Allen's skill set it sets up really nicely in this game he's got elite lateral quickness great vision and he can change direction on a dime something that will be a problem for Iowa in this game so watch out for the rushing game of Penn State in this one to one of the marquee matchups of the weekend, we have Ohio State going up against Notre Dame, and I'm rolling with the Fighting Irish quarterback. One of the best quarterbacks for Notre Dame since probably, like, Jimmy Clausen. Sam Hartman, over 249 and a half passing yards in this one. Line starts projecting him for nearly 300 passing yards, and he's gone over that 249 and a half mark three or four games this season, averaging 265 passing yards per game in that span. Yes, I know going up against a pretty tough Ohio State defense, they haven't allowed an opposing quarterback over 239. But this is Sam Hartman. He's an experienced quarterback. In fact, he is playing in his 53rd career game. Experience matters in this one. He's going to have to make some big plays, especially to open things up, maybe soften that defense a little bit for his buddy, the running back, Audric Estime. I like Hartman over 249 and a half passing yards. Next up, would this even be a college football show without talking about Colorado and Coach Prime? I think not. Let's go ahead and do it. Colorado going up against Oregon in this one. And the way for me to play this one, I think I'm rolling with Shador Sanders over two and a half touchdowns in this one. Line Star's model is projecting for three, which is actually pretty considerable. Usually if there's a line for two and a half touchdowns, the model would project like 2.6. So the fact that it's at three is pretty considerable in this one. Sanders had four week one. He had three touchdowns the following week and four last week. I feel pretty comfortable going to the over here, especially since that game total is at 70. Vegas is projecting a very high scoring affair in this one. We're rolling with Shador Sanders over two and a half touchdowns. Let's go. And those are my top five, but I also have a little bonus for you guys. Clemson running back Will Shipley. There are two ways to play this one. You can go over on his rushing yards or you can go over on his receiving yards. Both are really good plays in this one for 
My pick, I'm going with over 71 and a half rushing yards in this one. Line Stars models projecting him for around 74 rush yards going up against Florida State. Big rivalry game in this one. Shipley's averaging 75 rush yards per game over the first three games. He's gone over that mark in two of three games this season. Last season against Florida State, he had 121 in this one. I think this is a game where your playmakers come out to play, and Will Shipley is one of those for the Clemson Tigers, and I think they're going to be leaning on him a lot. And I actually think... I think the passing or the receiving yards prop is actually pretty good too because you'll have Florida State probably bringing a lot of pressure in this one, which will create a lot of check down opportunities for a guy like Shipley to take some of that and turn it into a lot of yardage. So I like that play as well. And that's your little bonus prop for you guys. For more analytics and statistics, everything you need to dominate in daily fantasy and prop betting, make sure to check out the LineStar app at linestarapp.com. And you can find all these picks. They're available on Underdog Fantasy prize picks, chalkboard, and sleeper app. All the links to those apps are below and use that promo code LINESTAR for up to $100 of your deposit match. And how about this? We'll give out some money on the show this week. If we hit four of the six props like we did last week, we'll give out $100 to one randomly selected commenter. So all you need to do to enter in is make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and comment below. Good luck in all of your prop betting endeavors. Enjoy all those ranked games. It's going to be a fun week in college football. We'll see you guys next time.